on me. I promise that. Welcome back to my show. Uh, today we're going to do a lot of WWE 2K22 and the My Ross in the Ethan 20. Oh, and uh, the last time that I did is that Brooklyn defeated Oscar. I thought once again, Brady so it cost her match. So, yeah. And, uh, well, we are going to see social media and see who's going to say, oh, I'm breaking it. Seems like. Bailey is a little steal of Ricky Wilson. Okay, now let's talk to Bailey right now. You're full of it, Bailey. But I did what your so-called contract asks. Three international superstars defeated. Shall I ask Mandy to set the title match, or would you like to do the honors? As much as I hate to admit it, I am impressed. Congratulations. You know, I've said it from the start, this Intercontinental Championship is a very prestigious title. After all, I hold it. But you've done the work, so I'll talk to Mandy. Okay. Wait, so you're really not gonna try to weasel out of this? <laughs> yeah. What kind of champion do you think I am? After all, you fulfilled the requirements of the contract exactly, and you know how much I respect official championship contract law. Right. Oh, but speaking of, there is one thing I forgot to mention. Since it is an international title, you know how when you apply for your passport or a visa, there's a waiting period before you get it? Yeah, the title contract actually also specifies a lengthy waiting period before we can set up the match you qualified for. Oh my god. What? Ready? Oh. You're kidding me. No, you're probably actually serious, aren't you? Aw, uh, don't worry. It'll go by fast. I mean, by the time the waiting period is over, I'll have probably broken the record as the longest reigning intercontinental champion ever, male or female. But to you, it will seem like the blink of the eye. I mean, heck, I guess there's a chance that you might not even be in WWE by then. So I don't know. Feel free to send me a card or something, or congratulate me on social media since you'll be retired. Hashtag longest reigning IC champion sounds good. Thanks. Can't wait to hear from you then. Toodles! Um, okay. What do I ever? Oh, six. Four hundred and fifty five days later. That long shit. What do I ever now? Our women's intercontinental champion. Bailey is apparently throwing herself some sort of celebration. The WWE Universe is not enthused. Today is a day that will surely be mentioned in all the effusive speeches when I, Bailey, am inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame because in just a few short moments, down to the exact minute when I first won this little beauty here, I will become the longest reigning intercontinental champion, not for the women, not for the men, but for all of WWE for all time. You idiots said I couldn't do it, but you know who never doubted me? Me! So let's join in and count down to the moment of my glory. It's only 20 minutes to go. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna be back in about 19 minutes. 1959, 1958, 1957, 
1956, 1955, 1954. Come on, I can't hear you. 1950, 1949, 1948, 1947. Yes, thank you. I don't think I could have made it through that. No one could. Oh. It is a momentous day. But not because you're going to break any records. Guess whose waiting period just ended? And that's fitting, because tonight is going to be a night of endings. Your intercontinental title reign is ending, too. Right now. We're going to have a women's intercontinental championship match coming up next. Finally, after jumping through countless hoops and waiting over a year, this could be the night that she takes Bailey's title. If it means not having to sit through one of these celebrations, I'm all for it. Okay, we can go a pretty starting with Jane the Shepherd for Bailey. What an unbelievable match. Bailey was mere seconds away from becoming the longest reigning Continental champion in WWE history until her former rival hit the ring. It's been worth the wait, Michael. Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey's getting beaten to the yeah, punch by a challenge. But it's great game. The women's Intercontinental Champion, Brittany Williamson. An exciting match that concludes with a title changing hands. Honestly, Michael, there is no. Yep. I guess we're going to share a ship. Okay, this is all copy of Bailey's Anchor Can I call Chicken Okay. Now let's see social media. It's about time the women's Confusion as an anchor, saying a cool chipper. Congrats, Brooklyn Wilson. That's it. Yeah, uh. Congratulations to Ross Lewis Anchor, saying a cool chipper. Brooklyn Wilson, who is not only busy by but some very complicated con contextual with comments. After this testing was going to go in, measurement, the decision has been making rumors that it's complicated with comments. Moving forward, the women's IC title will be subject to normal we go in protocol as it pertains to critical decisions. Okay, maybe. And bring it to smokers, uh, fuckers, smokers, shoulders, LST. Take on even more meaning a high bit. This would just I, I will say the wreck last week in five minutes. I am a bit of go we go. You couldn't suffer a bit, but I saw the go we go in first that I'm busy by breaking. I wreck way more constantly. And you get SK on C champ. Either I get Brittany Robinson 
I like you so to be the fucking origin and the first minute I'll do it at some point be kind. Yeah, okay. And tomorrow I see everyone talk about British but the Roman River sounds wrong. But my takeaway is that a new citizenship is now in the mix. Okay. Let's do it with Kelly's theory. So I put it to subscribe to my channel. And if you feel it, I like. And I'll see you next time. And... Hey. <laughs>